there, that third quarter alone, 28 points, eight rebounds, uh, three steals, defending Luka. What, what was your focus on both ends of the court, and, and how were you? What were you feeding off of? Um, I really was just trying to up the intensity. You know, just be a little bit more physical. Uh, I knew we needed it at that point. So, uh, yeah, just trying to bring the energy, bring the effort, and uh, just try to change the game momentum-wise. Uh, obviously, shots weren't falling early on for us. So, uh, you know, we was able to, you know, get out and run, crash the glass, you know, get some steals, force some turnovers, and that kind of just changed the game for us. How are you feeling at this point just since the trade? You know, you've come here, things have been going well individually, the team mm-hmm. 20 games over. But what, what's your zoom-out a bit mindset right now? Jerry, you've got 20 Okay. Um... I think uh, each and every game we've we've gotten better. We've got more chemistry, so just trying to keep building in that right direction as we you know we keep progressing. Um, I can see the chemistry getting there. You know each and every game. So uh, yeah, like I said, we need every game right now. So just continue to fight and you know play in every game like like we need it. And I think we did that tonight. Um, Jared, last game you guys had this superior three point shooting. This one, mm-hmm. you got, I think the Mavs ended up with. 13 more threes than you guys. What do you think the last two wins say about the variety of ways in which this team can win and, and the different paths to winning? Um, I just think we're a deep team. I think we can win in a variety of ways. Like tonight, we didn't make no shots, uh, but I feel like we was, you know, good on the glass and transition. And you know, we got a lot of different guys that can play a lot of different ways and impact the game a lot of different ways. Like, uh, so I think tonight, even though the shots weren't falling, we didn't get discouraged. We kept playing. We kept fighting. And uh, like I said, I think we killed them on the glass and then transition. When 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 you go into a game against Luka Doncic, like <clears throat> what what are you trying to stop? What are you trying to take away? <clears throat> and after that first quarter, what what did you kind of change up? Uh, my mindset was just to make him uncomfortable. Uh, you know, he's a hell of a player when he's comfortable and he can get in his rhythm and get into his own. So uh, I was trying to disrupt that and just picking him up, ninety four. Just making him work. I know throughout the course of the game, he's going to get tired, get fatigued, you know, just bringing the ball up and down and all the whole court and then trying to, you know, uh, make a move after I'd already, you know, cut eight seconds off the clock. So I knew it was going to get tiring. But my thing was just, you know, just get up in him and, you know, force him to drive and just be physical with him and make him uncomfortable. And I think, uh, you know, second half, we did a good job of that without following. Do you like that challenge every night, like whether it's Luca or, or, or someone else? Is that something? I do. I like I like that challenge every single night, you know, being able to guard the best player no matter, you know, one through five. I think I'm capable of doing that. And uh, I think that's my value and my impact on this team. And, uh, you know, I look forward to those matchups, you know, every single night. Yo, Jared, uh, you and AD combined for 32 rebounds tonight. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you guys are kind of figuring it out in terms of how you can really be physically imposing as mm-hmm. a hand on both ends of the floor? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, you know, it was a lot of rebounds on the table tonight. We didn't make no shots early on. But uh, so that's that's part of the reason why we both got that many rebounds. But I think just, you know, being a force on the glass, I think this team was a little bit smaller. So we we knew that. So we we're going to take advantage on the glass. And uh, we did that. I think that would kept us in the game. You know, those second chance points and and um, yeah, using when, you know, shots aren't following, we got to find another way to, to impact. And I think, you know, we did that. Thanks. Jerry, you play with such energy on the court. Is there anything in your pregame routine? Like you listen to a certain type of music, you mm-hmm. have an energy drink or anything like that, but that gets you amped, uh, ready for tip off? Uh, actually, like before the game, I kind of calm myself down. I, uh, you know, either read or uh, meditate or something like that. And then, like right before the game, you know, I might take a little some energy or stuff and just uh, really just pep talk myself just to get going. And I feel like that's all I need. And and uh, obviously just watching film, I know especially if I have a big matchup that night, that already itself kind of get me going. So, uh, And I, I just love this game, so it's not much that I need to get going. I know I get to play basketball for a living, so that's, that's enough, you know, energy for me right there.